Today, we are doing a full body workout. It is both postpartum and pregnancy safe. If you're postpartum, you're going to want to zipper up your core and exhale as you do the hard part of any move. So let's say I'm lifting my knee up. I'm going to exhale, zipper up from the bottom. Ribs are the last to come in. If you are pregnant, you're going to imagine really using your core muscles to wrap around your baby and hug your baby in so that your stomach shrinks and it protects your core. I am going to use dumbbells for this workout. I'm going to use two pound dumbbells. You could also just grab some filled up water bottles and then I'm going to use seven pound dumbbells or some heavier dumbbells later on in the workout. However, you could still use your water bottles or just do the movements without any weights at all. Let's start with the warm up is standing up. We can take some lunges to the side, just gently warming up. Let's stop on one side. We can turn that foot out. We'll do some arm circles, pulling in your core first. Good, let's switch to the other side. You can take a mini squat, exhale, pull your core in or your baby in as you lift your knee. Good, let's take some neck circles. We'll just go halfway around. Good, and we can circle out our ankles if you wanna hold onto a wall, you can. Go in both directions. Switching legs. Good, we're gonna start with a cardio blast. I'm gonna set the timer for 40 seconds and we'll have 10 seconds to set up between. If you wanted to grab your light dumbbells or water bottles, you can, but you certainly don't need them. For this first move, we are going to squat down and then as we tap out, press up, or if you have high blood pressure and pregnancy, you're just gonna leave your hands here and not press up. Pull your core in or hug your baby in if you're pregnant. Setting up, go. We'll take our feet wide apart this time. And again, reaching down and up and come up on our toes here for an extra challenge or keeping your hands here if you have high blood pressure. We're gonna move into a static lunge here, focusing on your form. We're gonna punch out, re-engaging your core.
Nice. Setting up on the other side. Engage, punch. We're going to tap in front, bringing our arms together. We'll take opposite arm, punch it down, switch feet. If you want to switch to your heavier weights, you can, or feel free to keep it light or just do the arm movements. So we are going to find our lunge position here. Bring our arms out to the side again. This time we're gonna rotate our palms in. Zippering up through your core or pulling your baby. Holding your shoulders down your back, bringing your hands up, squeezing at the top. Last one. Spreading your toes. We'll squat down. Lateral lift. Shoulders are nice and low. Core is engaged, keeping your ribs pulled in and down. Squat.
the only reason I'm not chasing highs, chasing highs. What is love? Lately I've been wondering just what is love? Last lift. Good. Let's find our balance on one foot, or you can keep your toe down. We're going to curl, palms facing in. You can also lift your knee up. We're gonna exhale, really engage your core. If you're postpartum, you can add a Kegel as you lift as well. Good, upper arm very steady. This is a core exercise. Some deep breaths into your side and back ribs. Re-engaging or pulling your baby in. Lowering with control too. We're gonna find a nice, nice bent leg position here. And we can tap back and then row using your back muscles. Rolling your shoulders down. Last one. We'll take a water break after this. We can place our weight down, so let's have a sip of water. We're gonna set up for tricep dips. If you did have a chair or a couch and you wanted to do it on the edge of that, you could definitely do that, or you can do it on the floor with me. Re-engaging your core. We'll lift up. We're gonna make sure we squeeze our triceps at the top, lower down, pressing up again. Are like bullets now. Some
release. Let's round out, take a quick stretch here before we move into our hip thrusts. Again, you can do this on the edge of the chair or couch if you like. If you're on the ground, let's roll our shoulders down our back, and then we're gonna thrust up using your glutes here. Thrust. Release. Let's shake it out. We can circle our wrists a couple of times. We're gonna come to all fours. If you wanted to grab a dumbbell to put behind your knee, you can, but again, you don't need it. You can do the move without any weight at all. So we'll place the weight behind if you're gonna use it. We can come it down on to one forearm. Of course, keeping your core engaged. We're gonna lift up as if we're lifting into a fire hydrant, making sure this hip stays very stable and you're not leaning over to the side at all. So this hip and glute is working too. And then we're gonna keep opening it up and then kind of like a donkey kick, we're going to extend our knee back and coming it down again. We'll do 15 of these. Exhale as you lift, pushing it back. I almost feel like your knee is making a rainbow shape. more. Last one. Good. We can come up on both hands now. We're going to cross over, squeeze your inner thighs, and then take that knee up and back. Squeezing both inner thighs as you cross. Last one. Good, release. Let's stretch out through our glutes just briefly. We switch to the other side. Good, you can do the movement without a weight or switch it to the other leg. Coming down on your forearm this time. And then opening up. Hip stays stable. Last one. Good. We can come up on both hands now. Inner thigh squeeze, using your glute to extend behind.
trust my senses catch me if i fall so done with second guessing you seem to have it all in love enough for anything emotional too soon you got my invitation one more the rest is up to you good release we can put that weight back if you're using your weight stretch it out good let's come it to all fours we're going to move in it to a bird dog except we're going to pulse three times exhale engage or pull your baby in and then lift opposite arm and leg pulse one two three down other side Last one. Good. Let's extend one leg back. We're going to lower our forearms down to the ground, elbows point behind you, coming it back up again. Beautiful. Let's switch to the other side. Lowering down. Beautiful. We can come on to our knees. Let's shake it out. Roll our shoulders. Let's take one arm up and gently stretch our triceps. Keeping your ribs pulled in here. Good, switching sides. come back to all fours we'll take some cat and cow stretches here exhale ballooning out inhale looking up moving with your own breath Let's find a neutral spine and taking some hip circles. Going both ways. Good. We'll make our way on it to our knees. <sighs> Exhale as you bring your hands up. Let's move in to a lunge here. Take one foot out in front. Shift your weight, tuck your pelvis. If it feels good, you can do a bit of movement or rocking. Pressing into your front foot, let's switch to the other side.
slowly coming out of the pose. So we have two different options here. You can do pigeon pose or you can do a figure four stretch. If you're doing pigeon, we can start in a downward dog or figure four, you can sit on the ground or on a chair and cross one ankle over. Switching to the other side. Releasing it out of the pose. Let's find our way to a seated position. We can bring our legs out just as far as feels good for you. Knees and toes pointed up. If it feels good, you can move back and forth or you can simply fold forward. You did amazing. I hope you're feeling good after that workout. Honestly, this morning I was struggling a bit today. I didn't know that I would be able to do a workout or record a video, but I always feel better after I work out and actually after I record a video too. So I just wanted to send a little bit of extra love to any of you that are struggling today. You are not alone and you did amazing just for showing up today.